in 2005, we went to Eldoret, Kenya to see if we can assist in an orphanage that was being run there. And uh, they had some serious issues. One of them being the conditions of the property, the tin buildings, the sanitation issues with the well being 20 feet from the outhouses, the dust and the dirt, the floors, and the children sleeping three and four to a bed. <clears throat> okay, after the 2005 visit, we raised money in our club, uh, received money from the district and Rotary International. Our project was to assist in a new orphanage in Kachali, which would move the kids from Eldoret. Let's have a look and see where we're at right now in 2013 and see how the project developed. One of the things that we funded was a new drilled well. Uh, this is uh, Hezbone, one of the board members from Kenya uh, at the new well. This is a shot of the new generator room that supplies uh, electricity and emergency backup electricity now to the complex as uh, uh, regular electricity from pole lines was run into the um, compound in the last few years as well. This is the generator that we funded. <clears throat> the water is pumped from the well to the two holding tanks, approximately 30 feet up high. We also funded the construction of beds, mattresses, and pillows and blankets. Part of the project was the, zero, the, the funding of farming operations that would allow the facility to grow its own crops and, and graze some of its own cows for the milk, chickens for the eggs and for the meat, all things that were you know, really missing in the Eldoret uh, orphanage. This is a zero grazing unit where they have eight cows that supply enough milk for the 90 kids in the orphanage, as well as additional milk to sell outside of the orphanage and make additional revenue. This is the banana plantation that was originally planted in 2005 and now boasts huge crops of bananas, uh, enough for all the kids uh, to assist in their diets. We provided funds for cooking pots and cooking supplies. Uh, these stoves are specifically designed to use very, very little wood. And as you can see, a will cook for 90 or more children uh, at, uh, in good speed. This is the van that we bought in 2005. It's still pretty nice and clean and in pretty decent shape, although we've had the place the shocks about six or eight times because of the the roads still hanging in we also funded a chicken farm and uh, I think there's about three or four hundred chickens in this operation that they've built here and uh, it's got an upper and lower level uh, where they roost down below and lay their eggs up on top There are so many eggs that uh, it, they've uh, made a real business out of selling eggs around to the, uh, to the whole community around them. Many more eggs than what they need for their own purposes. <clears throat> On the one day that I was there, they had a party that, uh, and a barbecue that's a very, very rare treat for them. In fact, it's one of the probably three or four times a year where they actually could drink pop and um, they had uh, they had killed one of the uh, one of the cows, 
and uh, they had quite the feast. This is the grounds from underneath the tree. So we scan through here. It's the sitting area up on top of the trees here. And scanning down towards the well and the, the pump house. Over into the corner, you can see the guest house. Let's we'll see if we can zoom into that. And from this area here, this is the house where a lot of the staff live. And there's a big common room. And a kitchen and some bathrooms and everything needed for the, uh, for the staff. Okay, this is a long shot towards the dormitories and the kitchens. Okay, this, believe it or not, is the farming operation. Um, he has uh, three full-time workers. Between, well, four, five, we probably got five full-time workers between poultry, dairy, and fruit and vegetables. Not sure what all the crops are, but there's... There's some of everything. So I know there's a lot of beans and cabbage. And over in the distance there, you can see the you can see the bananas. And behind the dairy farm. This is the uh, zero grazing unit for their cows. Okay, and this is the other side of the zero grazing unit. Your chickens. And they do all their roosting down here and they lay eggs in that unit on the far side and then they go up to drink their water and all their uh, messy stuff up on the left hand side. You get air up on top here. That's Henrietta over there. Yep, she has three baby chicks. Betty, Susan, and Tom. They live down below. And they're in the area here where up on top of the unit. where they get their water and because they do their water they apparently when they drink they also do their all their messy stuff and it's captured in a trough down below over here as we zoom in here The rotary sign up there. Now this is the trade school and they have carpentry on the left hand side and they have sewing and tailoring and in the middle and on the right hand side they have a computer lab.
kitchen here. And they're getting ready to prepare dinner here. Yeah. And they're... It's going to be a big barbecue tonight. So there, oh my goodness. Now these boys here. That's the cow liver? Yeah. Wow. Good job. Thank you. Now these are the cooking stoves. That's the kitchen. The kids are doing tomatoes over there. Okay, this is a close-up of the dormitory rooms. Second floor is the girls. Lower floor is the guys. Now this is just a quick update on a project that we'd started with such great hope. It hit a few snags and had a couple tough times, but here it is now with a great rotary success story. It's the story about 90 kids every year that are there that are really happy. They're happy with all the people in the orphanage being their family. They're singing, they're living together, they're well fed, they're well looked after, and the orphanage is operating you know, with excess money from the one for, with the money that they're making from the sale of their farming operations, so that it is a self sufficient system. And what could be better than what we see here with one really, really content little kid fast asleep?